Uh, well, we've uh, we finished two domes. Well, there's a third dome actually down at the stage. So the one, two, three domes. And now we're going to start the fourth and final dome to the, uh, to the concert hall. And we are already on the inside, working, opening up the inside spaces. Uh, so the construction is going along uh, as well as can be hoped for. Well, we're building a bigger concert hall and we're adding an extra, uh, an extra dome for the, for the public. So we should be to about 300 people on the inside of the concert hall. And, uh, and I'm adding a new instrument, uh, which has never been seen here before, the Graviton. And uh, you have to wait and see what that, what that is when it, when it comes out. Ah, it's always great to be here in the mountains. You know, it's the most, one of the most beautiful spots in the whole world. I'm always happy to be here. <laughs> and uh, it's very challenging. I have to say, the, um, uh, it's very challenging to, to communicate everything you have to when there's a language difference. Uh, some people speak great English and can understand everything I say. Other people cannot. And so it's very challenging to, to get everything the way you, you want it. And after a while, I just have to go, well, it turns out as it does. Okay, what I'm doing here now is uh, shaping the back plate of the violin. And uh, by now, it's pretty thin. It's getting pretty delicate. So that's with a scraper and a chisel and so on. Um, over here, I have... Uh, the mandolin, which is in progress. I'm working on some of the uh, inside, internal structures of the mandolin right now. And uh, to this afternoon, I'll put the back plate on and we'll start closing that in. Uh, back here is the base. Right, to be, in fact, that's probably the temperature at which, um, if it doesn't melt, then it's probably the safest temperature because the ice is the most flexible. Right, if it's uh, if it's uh, menaventi, then they're going to be very fragile and easy to break, because the ice gets harder and stiffer. So, um, you know, minus meno meno cinque is a very nice temperature I like, and that's about what we have right now. Yeah, the mandolin is about uh, maybe five days to build a mandolin. The bass is a much bigger thing; took longer. I don't know, maybe a week and a half, two weeks. Uh, violin again five days probably so you know it's not forever it's not a big you know the, it, it's it's ice moves pretty fast you can cut and shape ice much faster than wood or other materials uh, so I don't really give that you know that talk very often but you know one we we know all of this stuff this ice work the one thing we know is it's going to disappear eventually it's going to go away uh, because everything which is made of water eventually uh, changes into something else and uh, when it when it disappears it will you know melt and then evaporate and it, it will entirely be gone and it will reappear somewhere else as something else you know as a cloud as a as a raindrop a snowflake a waterfall an ocean wave uh, you know a, a glacier a cup of coffee drink it becomes a part of a person and, uh, and, and, you know, since we know that we are made of water, uh, we too are always changing. Eventually we will vanish and disappear. So, you know, I think that the, the, the obviously temporary nature of the ice instruments and the ice orchestra really brings uh, to the forefront our also uh, temporary nature. And, and for me, I always encourage people to use that as a, as, a, as a motivation to appreciate every moment that you're alive, you know, feel alive. Wow, it's such an incredible experience to be alive because we're made of water. And, uh, you know, I think the ice instrument creates a, a vibration which I more than hear with my ears. I feel it in my whole body. It, it, it kind of, it, it, it grabs your, your every molecule and makes it vibrate. And I you know, I think that's a kind of a spiritual connection between the ice instruments and us because we are the same substance. And, uh, yeah.